this has been a confusing subject for many, many years on how it started, when it started, why it started, etc. I get that we're trying to change two things. I'm trying to move out of our current Eastern Santa time to Atlantic time, and we're trying to do away with daylight savings time. Right? And we can't just opt out of daylight savings time. No, we can. We can opt out of daylight savings time. What what this is essentially proposing is to have daylight savings all year round, because um, which is not currently allowed by the by the federal government. And so, by switching time zones and opting out of daylight savings time for a majority of the year, nine months of the year, we would be the exact same time as the um, Eastern time zone. It would only affect when. The, the other states fall back. No. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Um, thank you for testifying this morning. So, moving to a length time zone does not prohibit a state also doing daily savings time. Right. So, we, so therefore, is that could have a situation within New England if they all go together, one state could opt in to daylight savings time. It still put us out of sync. There's nothing to guarantee they're all going to be in the same time zone, if you will, year round. Even though we're in the same time zone, in the time zone here, doesn't mean a state within that block could opt for daylight savings time themselves. So, in the future, yes, they would be able, I mean, it would be legal for them to opt into daylight savings time and be an entire hour always ahead of Eastern, Eastern uh, time zone that is opt into daylight savings time. That is a possibility, but the, I'm not sure that it would be beneficial um, on, because of the, the way the sun works. <laughs> so, <laughs> just, it's possible. It's possible. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm just going to, just this clarification question. Yeah. So, Indiana is always in their own time zone. They don't fall back and they don't fall forward. I mean, go forward, right? They always stay in. They don't use, they don't change in, time. So Indiana, I, I, there's... The ones that I am aware of yeah. are Hawaii okay. and Arizona. I'm I didn't check Indiana okay. to say they opt out. I think I, I think that they have. But let's just use the example okay. of this. You're in. You, you have a business trip in Indiana. Okay. And you fly into. And we're going to pretend that we're in Indiana. So New Hampshire. Well, let's just use the example that New Hampshire is never going to change the time zone. They're going to stay in this Atlantic time. So in the, we don't change, we don't follow this, you know, fall back, spring forward. Thing. Yeah. So if somebody has a has a visit, an appointment in New Hampshire, mm -hmm. and it is in the time, it is the time of the year where Massachusetts falls back, right? And we have we haven't changed our time. Somebody would fly into Boston at like three o'clock. Sure. And if their appointment was. In three o'clock in New Hampshire, they could actually technically make it because they. So, right? so that would be a proposal that is not on the table right now because we're talking about only moving if. Right. Exactly. So. Exactly. Okay. So you're. Not so okay. so this is contingent on Massachusetts and Maine moving. Mm -hmm. So that wouldn't actually. Um, that would be a different legislation. Right. Okay. All right. So we're just proposing that we will do this only in Maine and Massachusetts and Massachusetts and Maine do it. Yes. Okay. But, but your your point is well taken for like like um, I'm just trying to, I, I, this, this there are some states that have that time. country that 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 has hap happened and I have heard anecdotal evidence about someone saying, Oh, I'm gonna be late to a delivery in Arizona, and they're like, no, I have another hour because it's going to change as soon as I get in Arizona. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, does the bill, is it an automatic trigger? If we pass it and Massachusetts pass it, do we automatically, as of that date, how does the, how's that supposed to work? So I worked um, 
on the contingencies uh, for this. Uh, so that is, I believe, section three of, of the bill, the contingencies. So the contingency is if they submit similar legislation and um, then a kind of cascade of effects happen. So we're not actually allowed to move time zones. Uh, we have to request from the Department of Transportation to move time zones and submit evidence and stuff like that. So the, um, the proposal is that once they um, go into effect, then as, as a group, essentially, we will request to the Department of Transportation to switch us to a time zone, an Atlantic time zone. And then there's a separate uh, contingent contingency for part one, which is to go on the same effective date or essentially in the middle of summer, which would have no change to the time clocks because we would be in daylight savings time at that time. So um, just to be clear, you won't have to come back before us. Once they do it, it's automatic it's trigger. Zone and well, it's, it's just contingent on them passing it. And, it, and it's based on their effective dates and, and our, when, when the different contingencies happen. Who's our merchant bank check? This needs to also be approved then by the Department of Transportation. So therefore, even though the states pass the law, it can't become effective until the Department, the U.S. Department of Transportation, in, in fact, signs off on it. Right. So, so. Um, you're not allowed to, to switch time zones without, because of how time zones actually started with transportation in between states being, uh, apparently they have the final say, and that is addressed in the, in the um, commission report, and this is how you are going to have to switch time zones. Given that we have um, significant evidence and, and the fact that, you know, our the day daylight and stuff like that conditions in the New England, I don't believe that they would deny it, but it's important. Yeah. Have, have you um, discussed this proposal with any uh, school representatives, um, school boards, superintendents? Um, as regard to to the time, the, the time to start school, I did not. I, I've mentioned it to, to superintendents, but I didn't go into the detail of whether or not it was, um, they would be in favor of, of a 10 at 8.30 time, start time. Thank you. I guess. Seeing none, thank you. Thank you.